Good day everybody, this is John Hester here at Hester's Motorsports in Raton, New Mexico. Beautiful, beautiful day here in April. We got a nice U4 600, this is a new machine the CF Moto came out with this year. Uh, it's been out for just a few months now. Uh, like I said here, it's 21st of April, I, I, I don't even know what day it is, <laughs> sorry. Uh, uh, 2022, and uh, this is a new machine, like I said, really impressive machine we have been selling a boatload of these things i ordered a lot of them and we cannot keep up every single thing is sold either before it gets here or once if we get a truckload in the suckers are gone quick very impressive extraordinarily well priced i mean amazingly well priced but this one here this one here bit of a custom build for a customer this one's already sold it's not for sale or nothing but wanted to kind of go over and just show a few things um, because we did install the, the cab enclosure and a few extra goodies. This gentleman is a paraplegic. He's uh, paralyzed from the waist down. So we have a cool control system in here. So let's go and show you that real quick. So the doors, really, really nice. CF Moto was well thought out. They inset the way they designed the frame the windshield and everything fits into it not on it same thing with the doors the doors fit into it not on it so really nice setup so this is the uh hand control setup so gentleman he'll pull up here with his uh uh wheelchair and everything and he's got a cool wheelchair it lifts up and he can make it pretty much same seat height and he just slides right over so what we did is we did a crossbar up here that he has this hand can uh handheld deal that he can slide back and forth even though that there's hand deals here and he did use them and it works really well but this is just for extra control that he can uh use to work himself so he could put his left hand here his right hand here and he can do whatever he needs to do on it and this is the hand controls and it, the these he brought them to us so uh, i i'm not sure where you get these or anything like that but uh he brought them to us and we made them fit um i guess they make them for automobiles you know for cars and everything this company uh, but it's really slick comes with a bajillion type of an adjustment stuff so we can make it fit whatever we need to fit this isn't the first one we've done we've done several of them in the past but i've never done pitch uh, uh, videos of them um you can see pictures of them on our facebook page but i've never did a video for our youtube channel so i wanted to do that uh while i had a chance so you just pull this down to activate the throttle so let me start this so and then you just push so you use g-forces so as you let off the throttle and apply the brakes you'll your weight will come in and of course you push down push that way you know push down and it will apply the brakes so you can see the brake pedal moving and of course this is four wheel hydraulic disc brake so it, it works really really well we've already driven this um for a couple miles and just up and down the road and i, I made sure uh had the guys burn in the brakes really well so that way his brakes were well broke in and had the most bite on it so that way i mean i could dang near dang near lock up the tires by shoving into uh to that on asphalt on dirt i actually locked up the rear tires on dirt so i mean just mashing that i mean it works really well has good leverage we did modify the foot pedal uh we cut that in half so that way we get a longer section and use the most leverage possible. We did cut this here because at, you know, at first fitment, it was hitting right here. So we were trying to get it to, to get everything to, to fit and work. So, I mean, uh, you know, we have that just in case it's pushed all the way up and it goes forward. We make sure that it, everything clears and nothing hits. The tilt steering still works. I'm sorry, my finger's getting in the way there. So the tilt steering still works. It can go up, it can go down, still works. Even at full upward tilt, brake doesn't hit. Really slick, nice setup. 
So on these U forces, I mean, they they just threw everything at them, and I mean, it's just CF Moto is an amazing company. They are putting some serious R and D into these machines, and really building what the customer wants. So got a beautiful display. Tells you anything and everything, everything short of when to change your underwear on these suckers. I mean, it's got everything, and you got two wheel drive, four wheel drive. And you can see it engaged there, and then four wheel full lock so once it engages now right now it went off because these uh, right there on the differentials these will actually have X's that uh, show full lock you have dual power modes you got a normal for full power and you have a work work it smooths out power delivery it makes it more docile because when you're working, you're just breathing on the throttle. You don't want the machine to drop, drop, and, and be lungy and jumpy. So it's really, really smooth. Really, really smooth. And you have, this is a diff lock override switch. So diff lock has a, a, a speed governor on it. Because when you're in diff lock, all four wheels are locked 100% of the time. It doesn't disengage or slip or nothing. So your steering is very heavy. You would only use it in very, very low traction situations. But if you're in some deep mud and you need full wheel spin, you'll mash the throttle down, hit the, you'll have to hold it to see it comes back. But you hold that down and that will override the diff lock limiter for a limited amount of time and allow you to get maximum wheel speed while in diff lock. That would be only in very low traction situations. You don't want to try to drive down an asphalt road in diff lock with your foot mash because, I mean, you just barely do that and the sucker is twitchy as all get out because your front tires are chewing exactly the same as the rear tires left and right. There's no give. So, you know, very, very low situation that you would ever run diff lock on these machines. Now, this machine does not come with a windshield. This is, right now, CF Moto is the only manufacturer making parts for this. So they built a machine and, and accessories, which is a smart thing to do. Uh, it does come with the top. It does come with a winch. LED lights. This is all standard equipment. This is what's amazing. And the value for money is just staggering. An MSRP on this of $93.99, and then whatever freight set of dock fees tax out license that your dealer charges um, you have aluminum wheels you've got six ply radial tires a nice tire they don't put a cheap two ply just hey here's a tire so it can roll type crap uh, four wheel independent suspension dump bed two inch receiver hitch is standard 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 all this stuff so what we added to this was the front windshield the rear windshield right here both CF Moto parts the left and right door from CF Moto very well priced all this stuff is very well priced we have an aftermarket that's a quad boss just a clamp on they, they do make a mirror that that bolts right here they've been on back order God everybody has back orders right now it's ridiculous but this is really good price I think it's like 35 bucks it's a, a convex mirror so you can see it's a very wide angle so I mean even just looking at it you can see the entire there's one side there's the other side you can see dirt bikes over there I mean you can see dirt bikes way the heck over here so I mean just to, you can see that green dirt bike way over there so you have a very wide angle very nice then here's something that nobody else has now he really relies on mirrors they do not make a mirror to fit this cab. John, I'm looking at mirrors right now. What the heck are you talking about? Let me explain. We are a custom shop, okay? So we did, we took a set of mirrors for the Kawasaki Mule Curtis cabs that fit on the Kawasaki Curtis cab, and we modified the, the framework to fit them. So, yes, I can get these. They're a bit expensive. They're about 130 bucks for these mirrors. They're very nice mirrors. They're very nice mirrors, very stout, you know, fully adjustable, all that stuff. You can, you know, twist them left, right, up and down. A, B, select, start, all that stuff. <clears throat> Have 30 lives. <laughs> if you're a gamer, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but 
that's what we did on there and they've got a really cool system on the windshield uh, the side windows here so you could unlock I'm trying to do this with one hand here so unlock here and then lock it in so you got good ventilation there you can do it again back here really slick so you can everything clears just but everything clears nothing then you can actually unhook this flip this forward and then this deal right here there's a knob on the inside you would have it flat the glass would come and sit right here and then you would lock it in place like that with this window completely open so really cool set of doors really cool uh, they fit really well like I said they fit into the bodywork so you can see it's not trying to seal on a round tube it's fitting on a flat surface all the way down fits very well see nice and fits well uh, this whole hood opens up and it just basically gives you access to your radiator coolant uh, brake fluid stuff like that just easy access to be able to get into there So I'm, I'm showing you two things at once. I'm showing you the vehicle, the U4600, as well as what we did to this particular machine. And then you got your back here, you got your intake air box right over there. Sorry, I'm on the wrong side there. And then uh, CVT is over here. So your CVT intake and everything. So that's the engine there, fuel injected. 580 cc, 41 horsepower engine. So to kind of give you in comparison, you know, like a, a Ranger 570, it's right in the hunt with the Ranger 570 at a fraction of the price with a lot more stuff. Well built frame, very good sized fuel tank, almost 10 gallons. Now see on this side, there is a cable here that prevents it from overextending. That one over there, we have it removed so the door can go all the way to the bed because he's got to pull his uh, deal up in there. Uh, his uh, uh, wheelchair. You have, oh this, I, I, I love this. Okay, so you have a gripper style seat. So it's more of a rubberized type seat. It's durable, it's very pliable. Um, so it's, it's not going to dry out and tear like, uh, pleather <laughs> wood uh, you have a storage underneath here which is very nice so you got it they give you there's your piping right there so right here's piping and a funnel so like whenever you want to service the vehicle yourself they give you all that got a nice large storage compartment underneath this seat here pops down and of course this customer, we removed that seat belt and we have, uh, this is uh, out of his uh, uh, Ranger. Um, we're gonna be selling his Ranger. So this was out of his Ranger, just a, a simple um, hook system there. Not, not a, a true four point, but basically it's a three point over the shoulder type system there. So it's, it's like a four, it's like a four point but not quite a four point it's not as fancy as that just it just keeps him well balanced as he turns corners and stuff because you know he's uh i believe from l1 vertebrae down paralyzed so basically just below the sternum on your chest so he doesn't have any any access to those muscles to hold him up so strap down in there and go and ride and, and enjoy it uh, we're, he's going to be putting a snowplow on this. KFI did just come out with a snowplow. Big wind. Sorry, it's windy out here. So if it's blown in the microphone or anything, please forgive me. But uh, really nice vehicles. Um, top speed about 50 miles an hour. Plenty fast for a UTV like this. You know, it's not designed to go Mach 4 in one block. You know, doesn't need to. It's a great little trail machine, work machine. 
come over here where the wind's kind of blocking me a bit. Real impressive machine, but the money, I mean, it costs less than a lot of ATVs, you know? And like I said, it comes with the nice wheels, it comes with the nice tires, it comes with the winch. There's a bunch of more accessories. I mean, there's Nerf bars, you know, the bar that comes up and protects all of this. There's front and rear bumpers, you know, really slick setup. Really, really nice setup on these. And um, the doors are removable. You can remove the doors if you want in the uh, summertime. So it's really simple. You would just unbolt right here and then just unbolt the hinge here and unbolt the hinge there. The whole door would come right off. And there you go. The front and rear windshields are also quick release systems. So you could easily, bam, you could take the windshields off both front and rear well thought out, really smart stuff. I think CF Moto did a fantastic job on all of this stuff. Fantastic job on the machine. I'm trying to, not far back, far enough back. There we go. I just wanted to kind of walk around. This is the blue. Now they, they call it a royal blue. It's not quite dark enough for a royal blue. I call it more of like, I call it an ocean blue. It's more of an ocean blue. It's a little bit brighter, poppier, um, not as deep as a royal blue would be, but just, just saying. <laughs> Can fit two people extraordinarily well. Uh, the driver's seat, I also forgot to show that, the driver's seat, you know, you have a bench seat, but you have an adjustment, and the driver's seat, as you can tell, is separate. The driver's seat will move forward and back. Really nice. And I do believe that the driver's seat will pop up, I think. I haven't messed with this. Maybe not. Oh, there it is. Sorry, the hand controls are all in the way and everything for the seat belt. But yes, the driver's seat will pop up and I believe that there's more storage underneath there as well. So it's a bit hard because I have the harness system and it's right in the way of the, the seat belt and everything. So it's, you know, with the normal seat belt, just really simple, bam, bam, pop that off and everything. So wanted to kind of show all that. Really slick, really nice on there and able to get it all set up now these come like I said in the royal blue and they have a gray titanium metallic so it's like a darker uh, gray metallic titanium and then of course uh, camouflage more like a, a real tree type camouflage bodywork on there. Camouflage does cost more. And I've had customers ask, why is it more expensive for camouflage? Is it just because I'm paying for camouflage? Well, there's more extra detail stuff when it comes to camouflage, but the hydro dipping process for the body is much more intense and difficult. So therefore that's why it's, you know, it's not just sprayed on. There's prepping, you know, primering, hydro dipping, and then finishing out so you got a clear coat you have to do all that after all the hydro dipping process um, it's it's a much longer process takes a lot more work so therefore that's why they charge I think like uh, about 500 bucks more uh, in that which isn't that bad really it's not you know especially you know that's still that the MSRP is still under 10 grand for a camouflage I mean come on I mean look around I mean a Honda Rincon 675cc with 38 horsepower ATV MSRP's over 10 grand. You know, Brute Force 750 base model over 10 grand. Look at it. Pick, <laughs> I mean, heck, 570 Polaris's are, you know, you're getting close to 10 grand. 
nine nine to ten grand depending on if you have power steering or no power steering or whatever package that you go with but you know this is a a utv a side-by-side -side that's msrp under 10 grand it's just a staggering uh forgot to mention so you have led lights for forward and rear you do have reverse lights on these as well so you got a reverse light brake light headlights high and low beam very nice led with a uh, running strip light down oops right above here sorry you have to forgive me my glasses are tint are they get dark in the sun and they're really dark right now so <laughs> So that's the U4600, and this is the one that we, you know, built for a customer here locally. Uh, just wanted to kind of show how the hand controls worked and and how we set it up for, you know, for his needs and his wants and set up and everything. And it's really slick, really slick setup. I mean, well, you know, as far as this particular one, well equipped with you know full cab enclosure no, no there's no heater in here or nothing but you know once you get a vehicle and it's all enclosed and um you get out of the wind chill it's a whole different story whole different ball of wax um you know it could be really cold outside and you're not if you dress for it you're not that cold at, at all um wind chill plays the biggest factor so you get that wind chill off you you're you're good um once they come out with some heaters then maybe he'll add a heater who knows i also told him i could do heated seats you know i put some heated seats in here and and do all that um whatever you want <laughs> so just wanted to kind of show you guys kind of a two two deal one is the custom bill for the, the uh what we did for the customer here and the second thing to kind of go through um I really want, um, you know, being that we are also a Kawasaki dealer, the Kawasaki Mule Pro MX is pretty much, a, you know, a dead-on comparison with this as far as the two brands that I carry. And if I can get my hands on both of them at the same time, I will have a side-by-side -side comparison and walk through in between the two vehicles showing the U4600 and the Kawasaki Mule Pro MX. Now, some might say, well, that's not fair. The Mule's a 700 and this is a 600. Well, we're talking class vehicle. Mid-size, two-passenger, utility-type machine. You know, close to this size of a vehicle. So, you know, each manufacturer does their own little thing. But, you know, both very nice machines, very impressive, but... You know, it's nice to get them side by side so you could actually see them side by side and, and be able to, to tell. I want to thank you all for watching. Please be sure to subscribe. Give us a like on our Facebook page. So just go to Facebook and Hester's Motorsports. Give us a like on there. We do a lot of behind the scenes stuff on Facebook. Pretty active Facebook, a good community. A lot, you know, several thousand, um, you know, people have liked it. So we do posts and... You know we do funny stuff sometimes and we do you know, like i said behind the scenes stuff we do more on our facebook page uh youtube is where we'll do like a finished product so you know you might see behind the scenes of us building a machine and it's all tore apart and back and say look at this and we're you know this is what we got to do to do this you know so thank you all for watching like i said please subscribe hit that like button and notification bell i'm trying to do more videos and more stuff um time is my enemy <laughs> but i want to thank you all for watching you guys all have a great blessed day beautiful day here in april so enjoy your springtime thank you for watching